IISC is a place of vast diversity. In the lush green patches, other than couples, one can find a plethora of organisms which adds to the flora and fauna of this institute. On a bright sunny day, one can frequently spot different kinds of insects on the grounds of ISC. One such insect which caught our attention was these red bugs. As you can see, these bugs caught our attention for obvious reasons. These bugs infamous for leaving a brown spot on cotton balls are known as cotton stainer bugs. They belong to Pyrocorida family, scientifically named Odontopus varicornis. They are found in southern India. The life story starts from an egg, from which comes out a nymph. As time passes on, its black characteristic patterns start to appear on its red body after several stages of molting. The adult male has a narrow long abdomen with pointed sex organ called adiagus. Its body is relatively smaller than the female. The female has somewhat broader abdomen. This broader abdomen helps to accommodate the fertilized eggs. These bugs are mostly phytophagous, found on the host plants of Bombax and Sericula. It has proboscis to feed on the plant sap. Sometimes they also exhibit cannibalism. Here we see two bugs fighting with each other. But what is probably the reason for their fight? Of course, there might be something around here. But what is it? And there we go. There. There is a female. The male chases the female to start mating. Sadly, this female is already committed to another male and shows no interest. The male chases another female. Well, sometimes gravity is by your side. The male can now approach the female easily. The male now tries to mount on the female. Mounting is the first step for mating. And there we go. Bingo! This pair will now spend the rest 90% of its life in this position only. This position is called copula. All normal activities will now be performed in this position. These bugs have a strange liking for the dead bodies of their fellow beings. They mate and live amongst them. They lay their eggs amongst them and sometimes even eat them. At the time of oviposition, the female detaches itself from the male. It then lays its egg and joins the male again. After laying eggs for the second time, the male and female lead separate senescent lives. Interestingly or strangely, even after dying, they remain an integral part of their community.